Thanks for tuning in for Bass Buddy Groove 2. So here's what's special about this beat. Let's put it on and listen to it for a second. So first of all, you can really follow the bass drum and the snare to follow that kind of behavior of the groove. Now now here's the thing that is unique about this. The 16 notes are shuffle. So it's not straight 16 notes. They have a little bit of a different feel. Now we're gonna tune it down, uh, tune the tempo down so that can, we can really get into the depth of the subdivision before we start with the actual group. So the original beat that I played was at 90 and I dropped it down to about 70, okay? So here's the count we have. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And here's how we hear the 60 notes. Now what's happening here is that one 60 note is longer than the other. That's what happens when you have them shuffled. So let's start with those first couple of bars. So what I did here is a little bit of articulation starting it going from the D flat to the C. For now, you don't have to worry about it. This is something I recommend you add in the end. Okay? So the first part is just gonna be. So we start with those straight, those are straight eighth notes because the eighth notes are not swung, the 60 notes are swung. So we're gonna start with this. And then if you want, you can add that little bit of a grace note here. Okay, let's just put on the groove and we'll do this at 65 slower speed so you can play with me through it. Again. Grace note. Now going into that second part, we're just using those funky swung 60 notes to create the rest of the line. So it goes like this. Again. So I'm basing myself on that pentatonic shape using a little bit of chromatic approaches there. Um, nothing too complicated, just a lot of 60 notes, which makes it a little bit difficult, but nothing you can't handle. So let's do that whole line. Now the secret, now the secret of having this nice, tight, and successful is that that beat that you don't play, that you have a rest, keep on counting the subdivision. So you go. That would help you get in right on time because one of the most common things I see is when there's a rest, people try to rush back into it because they're scared of missing that part, but actually they're coming a little bit too fast. And if you count the subdivision, you know, you know exactly when to come in, okay? And then we're gonna add the other part. So in the beginning, it's very similar to that first line, but I have a little bit of a nuance changed in, um, in the last bar there of the groove. So we have what we worked on so far. Now the same. Mm. Oh, 
Okay, so what am I doing there? I'm starting with just those regular 16 notes, but instead of starting from that flat seven from the B flat, I'm starting from the F. And then my little secret, I am actually putting in part of that subdivision. Uh, because it just sounds so groovy, so great. And in order to play something really nice, fast, and groovy, what I did is I actually used the same method that I've used before in the previous groove, hammer on. And I was taking that open E string, hammering on the G, hammering on the B flat, and going into the C. Right? So very slowly you will, you will be... Remember that subdivision from begin from the beginning? Now it's hard to do this in time because hammer-ons are like a completely different um, approach to playing. So you want to make sure that they're also really synced up with the groove. Uh, two, three, uh. So feel free to just isolate that. If you need to do this slower, do it slower. There's no rush. Um, as you know, I keep on saying, just practice it with a metronome, practice it with a beat buddy, practice it to a beat and you'll be able to play it successfully. Doesn't matter if it's 150 or 80, as long as you really got it tight. Okay, so let's do the whole thing again at 65. <laughs> So I know that it was a little bit more complicated today, um, but on our next groove, and groove number three, we're actually going to simplify it and play a really, really simple groove with a really cool beat. So if you got a little bit lost with this one, no worries, go back to one or do the simplified version of two or wait for the third episode that's going to come out next week because it's going to be very simple yet very, very groovy. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, feel free to send them away in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to own uh, your own Beat Buddy, there is a link with a discount code right here in the information. Feel free to go ahead and check it out. It's an awesome tool that really helps you work your chops, getting in time, and also enjoying the process uh, while you practice. So I highly recommend, but if you want you can also just play it to the metronome as long as you play it to the beat thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing and i will see you next week for episode three as usual here's the play along